My name is Kushla, I am 17 years old and I like riding motorbikes. I'm currently on my learner licence. That'll make County's Honda the place for you. The shop has three motorcycle technicians and two mobile motorcycle technicians. 80% of their work is with off-road bikes, including quad bikes and dirt bikes, and Brian is there to introduce Kushla to the team. Well, he interested in motorbikes? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so what have you done with motorbikes before? I groom bikes at a uh, motorbike place. Kushla will need to wear overalls and safety boots in the motorcycle workshop. Right, now you're ready, we'll go around to the workshop. Cool. A quick check of her motorcycle licence and she's moving the bikes to get ready for the day's work. The typical day for a motorcycle technician, when they arrive they've got to empty the workshop out and then it depends on the jobs that are there for the day. It can be anything from servicing a, a bike through to electrical problems or engine jobs. Just completely stripping the engines, assessing what's required, fitting the new parts and checking all the tolerances and reassembling it all. But Kushler's first job is to help service manager Luke to assemble a brand new bike. This is a 2008 CRF 450 limited edition model. Cool. Put your handlebars up in here. This is a torque wrench. We've got to torque these down to manufacturer specifications so that they don't come loose or so that they don't strip. As well as being the service manager, Luke is also a part owner in the business and has just completed his level four national certificate in first line management through the New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation. So a lot of them want to go into specialised fields. A lot of people will go into either engine tuning for race bikes, or some of them will go into suspension setups where they, it's all they do, they specialise in it and, and set up race bikes or people's bikes specifically to their needs. This is where we check our engine oil. Got to get it up to the upper level there. Um, fill it up through this um, dipstick here. We've got oil on tap here. Just fill it up until you get to the right level. Here you go, I'll get you, give it a quick wipe over. I think you know what you're doing. Yeah. Kushler's part-time polishing skills get a workout before helping apprentice Caleb to strip and clean the brakes on a quad bike. How did you get started with the apprenticeship? Well, I originally started working um, here after school for a few years and in the holidays as well. When I left school, I just uh, got offered a job here by the boss and um, an apprenticeship, so yeah, I took it. New Zealand Motor Industry Training Organisation Customer Service Manager Russell follows up on Caleb's progression. Russell will help Caleb stay on track during his modern apprenticeship, answering any questions Caleb may have and providing support in his training. Meanwhile, Brian gets Kushler to have a ride on a new model CBR125. Most people when they get into the motorcycle industry, they have a passion for it and they really enjoy tinkering and getting onto it. And that's how most of our school leavers, um, they come to us, they want to tinker and then it, it builds on from there. So what do you think of that? It's awesome! <laughs> Neat little bike, aren't they? Yeah, heaps of fun. I love seeing beginner riders and getting them into it and then seeing their, their joy and getting them out there and getting it right and enjoying it. It's back to the workshop for one last lesson in motorcycle engineering from Luke. What we're going to do to this bike, we're going to give it a full service. We're also going to check the valve clearances. Cool. Kushler empties the used oil out of the bike sump, replaces the old oil filter with a new one and stores the oil in a purpose-built drum for recycling later. Rightio, what we're going to do now is we're going to check the valve clearances. So we have to remove the seat and remove the tank and remove the rocket cover from the engine. What we're using here is a magnetic um, tray. It's quite good for holding the bolts and if you tip it over they stay there. Cool. Okay, now we've got to check the clearance between the top of the valve and the camshaft. 5 thou for the inlets and 11 thou for the exhaust, that's what it's supposed to be set at. Well the main aim for the motorcycle technician is obviously with the um, motorbikes is to keep them in a, in a safe condition so that the rider is safe and also keep them in their optimum running performance for economy and um, for, so the motorbike can do the job that it's designed for, to be used for. That can't fit in there so we're probably going to have to adjust that inlet one here. Motorcycle engineers handle small parts which require great care and attention to detail. OK, now what we do is we get a magnetic pickup tool. We can lift this. The timing is altered with the use of shims of different sizes. OK, so this shim here measures 1.95 millimetres. 
So we're going to have to bring that down to 1.90 to get the right clearance. Grab that shim, always remeasure it, and that's perfect. So we'll put that back in the bike. The camshaft is put back in place and the valve clearance retested. Okay, that feels much better. As they reassemble the bike, Kushler has a question for Luke. So, um, how can you tell what's wrong with the bikes? A lot of the time you can tell by listening to the motor, taking it for a ride, seeing what it feels like, and just from past experience. Cool. I'm just going to check the rear wheel for playing the bearings. Nothing. Make sure it's true. Doing an apprenticeship, it helps you learn on how to do things. If you don't do an apprenticeship, you tend to stagnate and you actually don't learn how to do jobs properly. And whereas if you carry on with apprenticeship, you learn to do jobs properly, you get to achieve more goals and there's scope to move on. Once you've done an apprenticeship, like Luke, you can go into management, you can go and set your own shops up and it gives you the excitement to carry on. It's the end of the experience, but there's just one question left. Will the bike start? The thing I enjoyed most about this experience is being around bikes and being able to work with my hands and learn how everything works in bikes and quad bikes. Qualifying takes about three years. Experienced and skilled motorcycle technicians are in high demand and can earn a good income. Motorcycle technicians should have a good attention to detail and a passion for motorcycles. With the Startup program you can gain unit standards towards your apprenticeship and have the chance to impress a potential employer. You can expand your career opportunities with Mito's Advanced Technician ATEC program or consider business qualifications. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.